So the Union Square Green Market really is kind of one of the foundations of this restaurant coming to life. Gramercy Tavern is Danny Meyer's second restaurant, the first being Union Square, built off of Union Square and connected to the Green Market. From its first days with Michael Romano as the chef, a huge supporter of the Green Market, and through the success of that restaurant and the community who fell in love with it, uh, it revitalized the area. So eight years later, Gramercy Tavern comes to life three blocks away from that location, still connected very much to Union Square and the Green Market. It defined the restaurant from day one. And now in the last seven years, we've seen how the restaurant has evolved. We're not just sitting at the end waiting to see what happens to show up in the market, but we're really participating in the thought process of what gets planted. Gramercy Tavern is really intended to be a restaurant for all seasons. So we have this wonderful pull on anyone who's ever lived in New York during the fall months. It's a great place with wood beams and smoky fire. And as soon as it gets cold, there's an instinctive draw to this restaurant. And that's amazing. I mean, I, I felt that pull before I worked here as well. So, you know, it still is my number one priority for you as a guest to feel uh, drawn here, not only during that first cold day, but summertime, you know, it's oppressively hot and you're not even sure if you can work up an appetite. But where could you get a carefully handled piece of fish with you know, a beautiful um, vegetable garnish. I hope that people see that as this restaurant. One of my favorite dishes on the menu is the smoked trout with onions. It really represents a source of inspiration. It's a dish that I thought when I created it would be around for about two weeks. It's such a simple dish, I wasn't sure that it would actually hold people's attention. In this case, we are cooking it in a slightly unorthodox method, and it's one that I was initiated to working at March Restaurant for Wayne Nish. When I walked into that kitchen, it was my first job as a sous chef, I saw a Weber grill on the range, and I didn't understand how that could fit into a busy New York City kitchen. And it was one example of many that came from that kitchen that were really original, very simple and ultimately super successful. I've used it in every kitchen that I've worked since. So the smoked trout with onions is using this wonderful primitive technique of hot smoking the trout carefully. The rest of the garnish on the plate is all about expressing onions. And the idea was not to say this is pedestrian, it's actually to elevate the idea of like something as simple as an onion, carefully looked at, can be a wonderful backdrop to this piece of fish. So in this case, we take cipollini onions, um, slice them thinly into rings, and make a pickling solution with beets to give them this deep red color, which is meant to catch your eye and be beautiful on such a simple dish. But then, you know, there's some spices that are included in that pickling liquid that are really discreet, but create an interesting backdrop. If we can keep dishes as unmanipulated as this one, and find some essential flavor combinations that work, some basic techniques that in this case are primitive, then we're hitting on you know, something really powerful.